Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to show you how to fix an HP laptop that won't turn on. So we got an HP laptop here that won't turn on and if you're seeing that there's nothing on the screen, it's completely black, there's no light indicators anywhere, and there's no sounds of the hard drive going or fan spinning, then we may have an issue with just the power. First thing you can do is if you take the power cord, you could go and pick up another replacement very easily if that's what the problem is. If you have another laptop that uses the same cord or a friend that you can borrow, then that would be really convenient. Otherwise, you can go in the store and what I always recommend is you can take this laptop cable with you and just tell them I need another one like this. They'll know exactly what to get so you don't have to know how to technically explain anything. Aside from the power cable, we need to look at the battery. So maybe the battery is a little bit loose and it needs to be secured so you can take it out and put it back again. And with this one here, there's two sliders on the back. One of them is for the case cover on the back. And the other one here on the left is for the battery. So if we slide that over, it unlocks it. And then again, holding it down, we can now lift the battery straight out. You could just put the battery right back in again, just to make sure that it's in there good and it should clip back in place. But what we'll do is we're gonna take it out and leave it out for a minute at least but while it's out and the power cable is unplugged open up the laptop and we want to hold down the power maybe press it a few times I like to do and then hold it down for a count of 60 seconds and what it does not, nothing should really show on the screen you might get a flash or flicker on the screen real quick and then nothing but it's just completing the circuit to flush all the power out with the power cable unplugged and the battery removed, flushes all the power out. After a minute, close the lid. We want to put the battery back in. Snaps in place and then don't forget to lock it. That keeps it tight in place. Then plug your power back in. Then we can turn it on and it works. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.